half past nine and we've just passed Sheffield and we're coming home from Maker Fair in Newcastle. BBC R&D at Maker Fair UK Newcastle 2009 and we have some demos. We're also making some stuff but we have some demos too. What we have here is a webcam in a cardboard box with a picture frame on top of it and we're using this to prototype the next generation of computer interaction. It's getting these very, very, very wobbly little cams. This is, you know, something like this you could, well we have actually experimentally strapped it to someone's head but uh, so they can go like this and then the cunning thing we do then is we press this button here uh, oh, is it F? Oh, God, no, that isn't the one. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, OK. Whoa. There we go. It's steadied. Multitouch is considered by a lot of people thinking about it to be the next generation of computer interaction. Uh, there are a lot of possibilities for extending the existing mouse and keyboard metaphor into interacting with touch surfaces. Doppler's creating a model of your future travel and other people's future travel, um, and then we let you play with it. So what if um, you were traveling to Sydney? Um, we could tell you, oh, well, by the way, Matt Bidoff will be there two days before you arrive. You might choose to change your flight so that we could hang out there. And um, by, by, by looking at this model, which lets you think about what's going to happen in the real world, we, help, we give you this kind of this superpower of being able to play what if with your future. We hope that people will never eat a bad hamburger in a hotel uh, restaurant by themselves in an on-site trip again if they're uh, using our service. One of the projects um, that we're working on is called the Inject Project and that is all about uh, low-cost tapeless TV production. Inject uses uh, low-cost commodity PC hardware and video capture cards and on that we run open source software which gives us a very low cost solution but despite that it still give us, gives us many of the features that we require for professional production in a TV studio. One of the challenges that we faced in developing Inject is really to keep the system as simple as possible for the users in the studio but also to make sure that it's as reliable as they need because we can't have PCs failing, uh, bringing the studio to a halt whilst they're fixed. So we spend a lot of time keeping everything very simple so the user can be uh, familiar with it without a lot of training, but also making sure that any problems in the background really are left to the software to sort out automatically. Mahalo is a human-powered search engine, and it's essentially uh, Google plus Wikipedia. Uh, if you were to type a search for, say, green tea, uh, we would have a human spend two, three hours researching green tea on the internet, reading all the best sites, finding all the great links, and then making a guided page for you. That would be fast facts about green tea and items about green tea, actual content that we'll write. Then we have sections on the top seven links for green tea, green tea uh, uh, how-to articles, green tea photos, green tea videos, green tea merchants, uh, green tea uh, related teas, etc. So essentially adding two or three hours of curation of human intelligence to a machine search. So it's not just humans, it's humans using machines to make a better result. Mm -hmm.